it's it's a it's a great achievement. Um, we're probably given way too much credit. Uh, to be honest, I think I owe it all to uh, my teammates. I played with players all over the world and uh, perhaps probably a lot better than me technically. Um, but just my teammates are the ones who push me to be even more successful when I was on the field and off the field. And uh, I had probably the best coach in the country. Uh, playing for John was amazing. Um, he's very experienced. And uh, I was very fortunate to end up at Lynn University to get the two combinations of having fantastically skilled uh, and coordinated teammates and a, an excellent coach. Um, so. I would say in 2012 and 14, it was almost like uh, deja vu because we were both years uh, and the timings, if I'm quite right, uh, around the same where we were, we were rolling through the games, uh, winning, no concerns, no worries and... <laughs> Then all of a sudden, in both years, around the both times the same in the games, that the opposition teams had all of a sudden got on top of us and we were just defending for our lives. And it, <laughs> just tables are turned in seconds. And, uh, and I think the biggest thing that kept us going was uh, character and the leadership throughout our team and hard work. And... Both years, that I never forgot about that. I was defending for my life in the last 15 minutes of the game in the National Championship final in 2012 and 2014. That was probably <laughs> the most memorable part. Um, and obviously, you know, when that whistle blew, um, uh, it, was, uh, it was just a dream, a dream really that came true. Uh, Coach Roots, he's, he's not only been a coach, but he's, a, he's, a, he's also a very personal friend of mine. And the uh, biggest thing about Coach Roots and I think his success is, as a coach, he always builds from the back. So he, he believes, his saying would always say, clean sheets will win you national championships. And uh, they did. And so he always built from the back, starting with a goalkeeper and a back defensive four. Um, and that was all, that was his success and that was his mentality and his experience through his whole life and career of soccer and uh, and it's always paid off and it's always worked so the back line for him has to be the strongest stability of the team um, uh, that's what I'd say about coach roots obviously Hellman uh, probably one of the most successfully technical players I've played with I mean if you give that, if you give that young man a ball at his feet and he's in front of the goal, nine times out of ten he's going to stick it in the goal. Um, Chris is a great, great lad and uh, uh, very blessed with ability. And uh, every game he put the ball in the back of the net at least once, and uh, that was a very rare ability that I've I've ever come across and played with athletes at Lynn. I think a couple of things that makes Lynn such a very special place. Obviously, I'm very embedded uh, and I love the university. Uh, but also, I mean, it's, it's very diverse. Obviously, me coming across the pond, as they say, as, a, as an international from England, uh, you know, you're walking around campus and there's so many internationals and it, it, uh, everybody's very welcoming. But it's a family orientated a university. Every, everybody is there to support you, love you, look out for you, take care of you, and the help and support support is there. But I think the biggest thing I would say is the culture of the university. I mean, it was it was absolutely fantastic, and uh, I'm very lucky and blessed that you know Coach Roots took a uh, you know took a great recommendation uh, from another uh, former athlete and uh, he took a chance on me and uh, that changed my life and Lynn University did so I'm very blessed and fortunate that I uh, was able to play there as a student athlete, uh, do my degree, my masters and obviously 
come back and uh, I've been working there for five years and uh, it's probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me. So.